How's Maria's spear thing coming along? She, uh, she leveled up yet? She has! Alright, good. She actually just leveled up. I guess I missed that. I like how the mountains glitch out, too. I don't know if that's, uh, part of the game, or if that's just the fact that my disc is doing what my disc is doing, but the mountains are definitely kind of glitchy. Kind of sucks. I wish I could make them not glitchy, but I can't. Alright. I have no idea where the town is anymore. I don't know where Bathisk is. I don't know where the other place is. I don't know anything, so... Come on, game. Let's it go. Kill the stupid Sasquatches. Hopefully we can get back to this town. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, but... I'm hoping that we're able to just walk back to the town. Like nothing happened. Because obviously we can't do anything with the Sunfire just yet. I just... no, I can't... I can't canoe my way across this. Son of a bitch. Alright. Can we just go, like, up and around? Is that what the game's telling me to do? Because obviously we can't just go to the left. There's a big fucking body of water right there, so... No! Mountains! Okay, good. Good. I thought the mountains were going to block our path there. Come on, bees. Like, really? This is ridiculous. And Maria's still missing with her fucking spear. Or javelin, whatever you want to call it. I call it a spear, because that's what it is. But...
Oh, we found Bafisk. Or Bafsk. The names in this game are so messed up sometimes. I don't know why they named their town Bafsk. Like... It's kind of random. And luckily we're almost back to where we need to be. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to go back to uh, Altair and talk to some people. Because I don't think we're gonna be able to do much without being able to grab that Sunfire. So we're gonna have to go talk to people and see if I can figure out where the fuck we need to go. If it takes too long for me to find this out, I'll, I'll uh, go do it on my own time. And I'll start the recording back up when I figure out what I have to do. But I have a feeling that we should just go back and talk to Mindu. Since he's like the latest person on our party that left, we should probably go back to them or to him and start talking to him and see what he has to say. And if he has to say anything about Sunfire, then he'll probably give us the biggest hint. Because he's the only other person in this game that's really been active. Alright. Alright, let's uh, take our ferry ride back to... Back to Plume, and then off to back to go to Altair, so we can talk to Mindu. Well, at least we got some money back. I think we were at like 400 before we tried to walk all the way back over here. I know that Crow's waiting. Stop talking. Fuck. Alright. Off to Altair we go. Alright, let's go talk to Mindu and see what he has to say about, uh, the dying husband. Or the dying father, I should say. Not the husband. Uh, it is his spirit that is most hurt, not his body. This is not something a, a physician can cure. Cool. Let's ask him about Sunfire. Every three years, a ritual on fire is held. Sunfire is transferred uh, to uh, Ed Eggles Torch, Eagles Tur Eagles Torch, Eggles. I don't know. I'm gonna call it Eggles Torch. So this altar can be uh, purified. You can't. Okay. Okay. What about the dreadnought? You got anything about this? The dreadnought and the airship both operate on the same um, mechanical. Principles! Awesome. Let's ask him about airships. Uh, Sid gave up everything. Yeah, he's just gonna talk about Sid. Cool. Shut up! Fuck. I don't care about you anymore. Let's ask the dying kid. What's going on? Many good men died in the Dreadnought's attack. I sometimes wonder if we should surrender to the Empire. Let's ask him about Sunfire. Scott sealed the gates of Castle Cassian. To protect the Sunfire in case his army was defeated. You'll need the Goddess's Bell to lift the doors again. Good to know. Let's memorize that real quick. Only the Cassian clan knows or only the Cassian clan know Bell's whereabouts. Know the Bell's whereabouts. Okay, good. Good shit. So I guess let's ask around town and see if we can't find somebody who knows about that. Let's ask fucking Hilda. 
Let's ask her first. Thanks to Mindu, Father seems to be in much better condition these days. Awesome. Goddess Bell! Yes, Scott and Gordon have mentioned that before. Cashin's door only responds to the voice of a family member or to the sound of the magical bell. The bell is supposedly hidden deep within a cave in the snowy plan or snowy lands. You do not would er, intend to go there, I hope. Oh, if only Gordon were here, you wouldn't have to risk your lives like this. I wonder where he has gone. While well, regret is pointless now, I can only pray for your safe return. Joseph knows the snowfields, as he does his own, uh, his own garden. Okay, cool. He may have some good advice to offer. Awesome. Let's go talk to Joseph then, I guess. That kind of makes sense. Let us walk our ass all the way to Salamund to go ask Joseph for a favor. I kind of remember this part of the game a little bit better now, too. We have to go all the way to Joseph, and then Joseph leads us somewhere to get something. More, more grab this to get that, to do this, to progress. You know, just the, norm, the normal stuff. This game is full of back and back, back and forth stuff. The good news is, by the time we get out of the stupid cavern that we have to go to to get these goddess bells, um, we'll probably have quite a bit of money, so I'll be able to buy some new equipment. That'll be good. That'll help our, our party strengthen up for the next part, even though they don't need to be strengthened up at all. They can be prepared for the stuff that they don't need to be prepared for, and get even further. Today I'm going to try and get as far as possible, without having to stop. Eventually I'll probably want to stop and grind for a little bit, just because, um... I would like everybody's HP and MP to be at the max before the end of the game. So I'm going to try and get everybody to do that after this recording session. I'll do it off screen. And then I'll probably buy a whole bunch of magic and stuff, and get that going as well. I'll probably try and get fire up to like level 10 or something. Or everybody's respective elements that I've given them. I'll get ice, fire, and bolt up to level 10. So that they do a considerable amount of damage, rather than the amount of damage that they're doing now. Because right now they don't really do much, they just, uh, kind of... They're good for crowd control. It's it's a good way to get rid of multiple enemies at the same time. But sadly, it doesn't always kill all of the enemies on the screen. As you can see, sometimes it leaves those blood-sucking guys that they're like the psyched-up form of the vine-looking plant thing. It's a good thing all these towns are relatively close to each other. So if the towns were as far apart as they were in Dragon Quest 